Warning, viewer discretion is strongly advised and we suggest that anyone with a weak stomach to not watch this video. We will not be providing you with the links to any of these sites and for legal reasons we strongly advise you to never visit any of these sites as well as the deep web in general. This video is for educational purposes only. Number 15. Sad Satan Something related to the deep web that has become popular in recent weeks is a game titled Sad Satan. The game was first heard of through YouTuber Jamie, who runs the channel Obscure Horror Corner. He claimed that a viewer of his had been diving into the deep web and suggested Jamie play the game. After a quick check of the files for malware and viruses, he played the terrifying and confusing game Sad Satan. The game has no real gameplay. There's no fighting or solving puzzles. The player mostly just walks through an ever-changing scene filled with lights, shadows, and nightmarish noises. There are also various occasional static images, one of which is Jimmy Salvi and Margaret Thatcher at an awards ceremony. This particular image has convinced some players that child abuse is the main inspiration and theme for the game. Jamie claims he deleted it because the game would allegedly create notepad files on his desktop which were filled with the numbers 666 and other text that made no sense. Those that have downloaded the game report it trying to use tracking cookies and installing a worm virus. There's a disturbing theory that Sad Satan is more of a snuff movie than a game, and that the references to pedophilia and the audio files of children screaming are real. Players state that the screams are too haunting to be fake. Number 14. Meet My Sisters basically a porn site that offers a site into an incestualized form of sex slavery. Meet My Sister's bio states, My dad had always a kind of strange liking for his girls. They both were raised with a lot of sexuality at home, only at home. He taught them to obey his commands and wishes. A few nights in the cold and dark basement and some other small punishment had been very successful. They grew up as his private little sex toys, always ready to please. Once he had a friend at her house, and he made some compliments for Jennifer's nice ass. My dad offered him to touch her ass in return for a few bucks. A new idea was born. Since then, my dad regularly invited friends of his to visit my little sisters. They had very much fun in fact. My sisters got very popular in the area. When I got a clue what dad was doing all the time when I was with my friends, I saw endless opportunities opening this service to the broader public. The site also has a quick pricing guide that allows you to buy certain packages. The MySys, Yearsys package promises execution within two weeks. We can only assume this means the worst. It's sick to think there are two girls out there that are being forced into sex and are just awaiting the right offer for their death. Number 13. How to Cook Women Among several gruesome forums on the deep web, this website entirely dedicated to how to cook women is a very unique one. At first it may seem like a joke, but as you go in and dive deeper into the content you find that it's deadly serious. It's actually more than just your average cookbook. There are pages dedicated to which parts of flesh are better for which sorts of meals how exactly to cut them, including demonstrations and recipes. It is mostly a forum for cannibals. They share stories such as the first time they tasted female flesh, how they claimed their victims, and if applicable, the sexual encounters they had with the post-mortem bodies before indulging in their meals. Among all of these are also photos of dead females cut to pieces and being prepped in the kitchen. The worst part of it is that there are people who post on the pages that claim to work in restaurants. There are rumors that the site has been shut down, but others claim it's still around somewhere. Number 12. Animals Nightmare this site is mostly a forum with videos and photos posted by the site's members. The main theme of the site is animal abuse. Animal abuse videos of all kinds are posted. Everything from things done on purpose to street cameras of animals getting run over. Animal lover or not, it's hard to see why anyone would enjoy inflicting torture on creatures a fourth their size that can't even fight back, that literally do nothing more than whine and wish for mercy. Some of the things posted that are done to animals are cutting, stabbing, burning, choking, tearing apart, beating, and even raping. That's probably just the icing on the cake since most visitors to this site simply state you don't even want to know what I've seen. Number 11, Daisy's Destruction. Not much of a sight, rather than a story from a site. The snuff film titled Daisy's Destruction is a very real video that displays a young girl called Daisy being exposed to severe whipping, torture, and a whole range of sexual acts, 
along with beating, rape, and mutilation of her genitals. Daisy is claimed to have been from age 3 months to 6 years. The creator of this film was Peter Scully, who made a few other similar videos while living in the Philippines and running an international pedophile ring that offered pay-per-view footage of children being abused on the deep web. On average, Scully would receive about $10,000 from these videos. Although Scully was the main person involved in the creation of Daisy's destruction, his 18-year-old girlfriend and former child prostitute, Carmen Ann Alvarez, also helped him. Scully and his accomplices have since been caught, and Daisy's destruction is now nearly impossible to find, although it's disgusting to think anyone would want to find it anyways. Number 10, Doxbin. A more in-depth and terrifying version of a phone book that is sure to make you feel unsafe for the rest of your life, Doxbin is a site that holds in-depth personal information about millions of people across the world. Anyone can log on and add information about a person. There are even people to contact to get more information about particular people. Phone numbers, addresses, height, weight, and other things can be posted. Furthermore, anyone that visits the site will automatically have their information soaked up. Credit card numbers, cell phone history, and so much more that you never thought possible could be attained. Doxbin was shut down in November 2014, but was revived under different ownership later in the same month. Not to mention that there are very other similar sites on the deep web. Something like this just gives the feeling of constantly being watched and never knowing when someone may post things about you for the entire world to see. Having a site like this specifically on the deep web is even worse considering the other things available in the deep web and the sorts of people that post in those pages. Just a friendly reminder to keep one eye open and to never follow a link you're unsure of. Number 9. No Love Deep Web Scavenger Hunt the story of the deep web scavenger hunt is one that has been shared by many users and that has changed uniquely for each person. One user was playing what was called an alternative reality game. This game, No Love Deep Web, had users hunting for various things. When the user reached a certain item in the game, they began receiving calls that had no one on the other end. The calls did not stop until the user quit the game. Another user became so committed to the game that they ended up driving to a nearby city to answer a payphone on which they heard a baby crying and absolutely nothing else. Although not every player has experienced something as creepy, the deep web being the sick web based hell that it is, something so simple could leave one to worry and be filled with crippling paranoia. Number 8. People in Coffins Another self-explanatory title, a vast gallery of photos of people in coffins, in the mortician's morgue, in the funeral home, at a funeral, and in the graveyard before the casket gets closed. The site is sure to make you question the human psyche. You may wonder who would get a kick out of seeing these photos. Furthermore, you've got to wonder who is posting photos like this. Many people have reported that there are user comments on the photos that comment on how beautiful the corpses look along with other more vulgar comments involving necrophilia. Number 7. Pink Meth, a sort of revenge porn site, yet more extreme. This is a place that has the main goal of ruining the lives of young girls. Pink Meth includes photos and video footage of young women from preteen ages to adulthood, pays users to post content of former partners, however it's taken a step further by publishing their personal information such as full names, addresses, and social media contact information. Aside from the obvious of completely embarrassing these girls, it could put them in serious danger by people acquiring the personal data. A notorious story from the site is that in which a pink meth owner sent enhanced nudes to a young girl and blackmailed her to perform sexual acts on her dog, claiming that he would remove the content he had of her. However, he did not. He posted that footage and it led to this young girl's suicide. Pink meth was actually among those shut down by an international police operation. There have since been rumors of the revival of this site, however this has not been verified. Number 6. Candy Palace, a very popular child porn site found on the deep web. Although it is amongst thousands, it is said to be the one that people most commonly stumble upon. It is claimed to be hosted in one location in a foreign country. The main chat room has several hundred chatters in total. They actually had a very detailed profile of each child. An example was Tassa, 9 years old, black hair, and included a list of 83 videos she starred in and counting. The children were usually smothered in makeup. Most of the scenes are filmed in various sets, 
such as Aeris-style dungeons, surgery rooms, etc. No grimy bedrooms or warehouses or basements. Nothing that fits the common stereotype. It was basically Pornhub with a pink white black color scheme and 6 to 12 year olds. It is a nightmare, one redditor stated. Number 5. Child Spirits from Abortions and Miscarriages On the deep, dark, terrifying web, you can pretty much find anything you'd like to buy. Anything from weed to pretzels are available. However, there's a site that sells something slightly more questionable. Miscarriages and abortions are the two forms of death before birth for the fetus. That thought alone is enough to make you feel uncomfortable, but a certain site takes that feeling a bit further and turns it to other shock, disgust, fear, and confusion. The site ships statues that are promised to have the real spirit of a dead fetus locked away inside. They ship from Thailand and other countries of similar culture. It can be left to assume that this is more of a cultural thing. Many people of cultures such as this are terrified of ghosts and believe that a revengeful spirit of an aborted fetus is especially dangerous because it lingers to haunt the mother and others who helped kill the unborn baby. There are many rituals that are centered around aborted and miscarriage babies to assure that anger can be vanished. Perhaps the more haunting and disturbing question here is where do they get so many of these to sell? Is it just a scam towards strange people and the statues have nothing of value? Or are there women out there selling their aborted and miscarriaged children to earn a little extra cash? Number 4. DIY Vasectomy Kits Yet another addition to the ever-growing black market. Apparently you can now perform vasectomies at home. There's a sales page that offers the kits to get the job done for less than half the cost. The site also offers instructional videos and a forum area for previous buyers to share their experiences. The most disturbing part of this is just imagining what kind of person would be able to snip away at themselves without any sort of sedation. Just to emphasize the kind of pain this may cause, a vasectomy is a form of contraception that involves surgically cutting or blocking the tubes that transport sperm from the testicles to the penis. Doing this wrong could lead to complete destruction of the genitals and even death. Number 3. Dead Girls One of the more disgusting sites available, Dead Girls is said to impact the lives of its visitors in an extreme way. It has even been rumored to lead to mental health issues by those that accidentally stumble upon it. The name is pretty explanatory. It's just a site filled with gruesome photos of dead girls, roughly aged 5 to 16, dead, laid out in open fields after being brutally raped, beaten, and murdered. The pictures available are very detailed and close up. For some odd reason, most people that have reported visiting this site claim that the photos are mostly in Montana. There's not much more information out there about the content on the site other than the general photos. Furthermore, it's unsure whether or not any of the victims have been identified. Number 2. Human Experimentation There are many types of red rooms. One of the most talked about is a site that posts videos and photos of gruesome acts being performed on humans. The sickening torture against these people is excused as human experimentation. The site states at the top that not every human is born equal, and that the experiments done are in order to prove that point. The main attraction of the site is a feature in which you watch live video of people being tortured, and in which you pay for it to get worse and more gruesome. It is known as the pay for pain feature. Live starvation, sterilization, infliction of diseases, drug trials, infant exposure to x-ray, lobotomies, sodomy, medieval torture such as tearing people limb from limb are all just examples of things done to these poor people. There's even a page on the site dedicated to infants and toddlers, however the majority of the experiments are done on homeless people picked off the street. The site also claims that the dead are thrown into dumpsters of meat shops in order to not be found. The validity of the description of this site only comes from those that have been daring enough to venture to the site. Not many go looking for this sort of thing. Number 1. Extreme Boy Stories Aside from the illegal drug and weaponry sales, the deep web is known mostly for child porn. The site titled Extreme Boy Stories is possibly one of the worst child porn sites on the deep web. The content ranges from photos and videos to forums. To put things as lightly as possible, the page is dedicated to the brutal raping of young boys. Boys vary in age from infancy to young adolescence. Those that have shared stories of coming across this site claim it's more than just rape, which is bad enough on its own. There have also been sections dedicated to gore that involves young boys, and shared stories of murder. 
coming across something like this will literally make you sick if you're weak of stomach or have any moral at all. It's the type of deep web content that shakes you to your very core and makes you question the existence of such foul actions. Got an idea for a top 15 list? Submit it at top15s.net slash submit. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.